You're live, it says. I don't believe it. I kind of believe it. Well, hey, 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 everybody, if you are here. If you're not here, then I guess I'm talking to nobody. But it looks like we got Nick Foles in the house. Nick Foles, what's going on, dude? This is what I needed on Friday, he says. Hells yeah, Trev Wilson, The Wrench, Terry D, C919 in his glass, Jason Coates is up in the house, just finishing dinner, guess it's time to pick a dram. Trev Wilson says he's been grilling chicken. Mmm, I love me some chicken. I love chicken so bad. So, this is what I would consider to be a test. I have, um my camera finally going through the old computer with the old audio and stuff and just so probably it should look it should look a little bit better than what we're used to from my stream quality let's hope let's hope it does let me know let me know if it looks and sounds good everybody let me know charles ashworth is in the house will henderson what's going on will Glad you could make it in from center field on time to join us. Wheels says this should be fun. This should be a shit show. A cringe shit show. Jesse Page. Mark Saliba. 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 Salibaba. Salibaba. Daniel Carter is in the house. Daniel Carter's the MVP tonight. DC, what's going on, dude? AKA Pulled Pork. AKA Big Dog. Daniel Carter. Mashing drums says, cheers, everybody. What's going on, Jason? Thanks for coming in. Jason Coates, thanks for coming in. Patrick Fulmer. Hey, you made it to one, Patrick. <laughs> thanks for not waiting until 2 a.m. Yeah, my streams have been uh, going pretty pretty late lately. So I guess uh, guess we got in an early one. Let's see how it goes. It's a bold move, Cotton, because the children's still awake. Let's see how it plays out for them. Big dog says, scotchy, scotch, scotch. Like the way Daniel Carter changed his name to Big Dog Midstream. That's pretty good. My audio is low, but good. Let's see if I can fix that. See if I can fix the audio. All right. Let's see if that's better. Let's see if the audio is better now. <clears throat> I'm using a, a microphone here. I just got this thing. Actually, it was on the phone for, geez, roughly... 10 minutes with Dan from the Bourbon Junkies right before this started trying to get my audio to even work. So we're lucky that it's working. Or I'm lucky that it's working anyway. Because it was was not working. Alright. Let's get things started tonight. I'm going to have a little tiny pour of Wilderness Trail. This is a single barrel rye. This was a gift from Daniel Carter. DC. Big dog. Alright. Let's get a good old red, white, and blue America. Bourbon Junkies Glencairn glass. This stuff is delicious. I quite enjoy this stuff. The cork is toit. It's a real toit. toit. It's a nice toit cork. What's everybody, what's everybody drinking out there in chat tonight? Anybody... Pour themselves a dram yet? A drammy dram dram? A little drammy poo? I hate the word dram. I don't know why I say it. Anybody pour themselves a bit of whiskey? All right. Patrick Fulmer says, sounds great. Hells yeah. Mm. Oh. That Wilderness Trail Rye is like some spearmint gum right, right down my throat. So good. So stinking good. I quite enjoy it. So much. Oh boy. Ben D. Manor says, America. America. Hells yeah. If you guys are in here, do me a big, huge, gigantic favor. Hit the thumbs up button. That helps the channel out a heck of a lot. Uh -uh. Patrick Fulmer is drinking that Elijah Craig store pick. Charles Ashworth says, Kettle House Cold Smoke Scotch Ale. That's a mouthful. Marcus Aliba drinking some Kilkoman, PX cask, and Madeira cask. Sounds scotchy. Sounds pretty scotchy. Ben Demon Hunter says one or two sips left of port. 
uh, that's a word. It's a word I've not. I'm not familiar with. Escai, hundred proof. I love peated scotch. Well, we got some people drinking some scotch. I'm gonna join you in a second. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it the right way or the wrong way. Uh, look at this beautiful bourbon junkies Glencairn glass. It is something to. We actually have a new logo glass. A new logo Glencairn for the bourbon junkies. I'm gonna have to get my fat little paws on one of them. All right, so let's get down to business. YouTube is being, what's the word? Mm, buttheads, holes, faces, and they have not monetized my channel yet. They are slacking and it sucks big gigantic nards. So um, not cool, but that's it's the world we live in, I guess, where we're gigantic conglomerations. That's a big word. That's not even a word. Take their time and piss on little whiskey drinkers like me. That's okay. Anyway, not monetized yet, but there are still ways to support the channel. If you wish, you can go down in the description below. There's a PayPal link if you uh, feel inclined to do something like that. I obviously don't expect anything like that, but people have said to put it in the description, so I have. There's also Patreon, um, my Patreon page. I've got 29 patrons so far. Not bad for, for a fat ginger from from the northern Michigan, but but uh, 29 patrons is awesome. But I'd like to grow it a little bit more in the future, the near future, if possible. I know it's not the the right time to ask for money from people right now, so I'm not. But I'm just saying, if that's something that you wanted to do, I am on Patreon, and if you can do it, and if you can't do it, I don't expect you to. And if you're a patron of mine and can't do it, you can leave, no questions asked. Just give me a middle finger. That's what I'll understand. I don't think I took a whole breath in like 10 minutes. Big Dog says, is it cool if I post a link on Facebook? If you're talking to me, sure. You can post any link. Any link you want. So this is what we're doing tonight. Um, after I finish my delicious Wilderness Trail Rye. So good. So stinking good. down the hatch we are getting into a flight of peated scotch whiskeys that dc himself sent to me big dog daniel carter he sent me this box he sent me a box that deserves some attention because it's pretty cool this box says beware Be beware beware high peated shit inside now i've never i'll tell you about my scotch um journey in a minute here but it's not quite a journey so this is going to be interesting um on on this side of the box it says hashtag bus drivers lives matter which is the best thing to ever be written on a box ever <laughs> it's so funny this side of the box for sure is America, which I appreciate. And then uh, he apologizes on this side of the box for all the tape.com. All the tape.com. Daniel Carter is probably one of the funniest people I've ever not met. And then in this on the back it says this tape tape job is ridiculous. Enjoy the journey. I'm gonna friggin' enjoy it. Oh, I'm just falling apart in there. So let's open the box. Looks like we have uh, five, five peated scotches in here. Uh, and they are orange, they taped, just like, just like the the uh, the box was taped. Now, my scotch experience is very not experience i have had let's talk about the scotches i've had in my life johnny walker red label a sample a little 50 milliliter sample and i spit it out because it tasted like garbage and skunks and um i also tried 
a 50 milliliter sample of Glenlivet, I believe, and also not a big fan at all down the drain. So I'm not a big fan of scotch. But then, but then, I was over at the the magnificent Michael Klein's house, and Sean Opperman had a bottle of Octomore that Daniel Shook made me drink from the bottle. And it was very briskety, very barbecuey, and very different. And I didn't hate it. That is the extent of my bourbon, or the extent of my scotch, scotch life so far. So this is all new to me. All friggin' brand new. So we're going to get into this, this flight of confusion here in a second. Uh, Charles Ashworth says, so M. Klined is now the term for willingness to support whiskey channels. M. Klined means feeling so inclined that you go above and beyond inclined, that you are actually more than inclined, you are M. Klined. Yeah. Because Michael Klein has done, done lots for me. Lots of generosity coming from that gentleman. Just looking through the chat here. Looking through the chat. Is, uh, Nick Fool says, Is it bad that I still type in ADHD fishing? So it brings me straight to your stream. So why change, right? Well, I don't know. I changed my name to ADHD Whiskey at the exact time that most, like the most subscribers would come to my channel anyway. That's probably a good thing. I'm ADHD fishing at heart, but ADHD Whiskey in uh, veins. I don't know. That was, sometimes I got them, sometimes I don't. Travel says, okay, I'm, I'm on Battle Station. Let's do this. Let's do it. Jason Coates says, Johnny Walker Red isn't scotch, it's a cleaning product. See, that's the problem. If why if you make scotch, why would you wanna why would you wanna make something so Okay, if you're an introductory if you want to be introduced into scotch, you go for something relatively cheap. And then you drink that and you're like, that's terrible, and then you just assume that all scotches taste like that. And I've been told that that's not the case. I guess we're going to find out. I hate Johnny Walker, but enjoy Octomore. Yeah, the Johnny Walker tasted like unsweet butterscotch mixed with armpits. The Octomore tasted like barbecue. If you can hear my children in the background, deal with it. I got to deal with it, so so do you. And she's telling a story about something. Who knows? Who friggin' knows? She's talking smack about something about her iPad goofing up. Who knows? All right, let's get these poured. Let's get these poured. Oh, I should probably label my glasses. Should probably label my glasses and everything. So, oh, I got a... Will Henderson sent me a $5 PayPal. Dude, Will Henderson, thank you so much. That's super nice of you. You felt inclined to do that. That was really nice. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to at all. But I appreciate it. I know that it kind of it's kind of a bummer um, not having the super chat function engaged. Cause I got the I got to the thousand subscribers. I did that. It was a lot. It was some work, but I got there thanks to you fine, awesome people. And then we worked super, super hard as a team, and we got my channel to 4,000 watch hours in the past year. And um, that's the criteria to be monetized, to get the Super Chats. The only thing left is for YouTube to say, yeah, you can be monetized. You can, you can accept Super Chats. Your videos can have ads ran on them. That's the only, the only roadblock is YouTube clicking a button. Just click the button, YouTube. Then we won't have to... I feel terrible putting my PayPal in the description. I feel 
ridiculous, actually. But um, Will Henderson obviously doesn't feel too weird about it, so he went ahead and, and did that. So thanks, Will, and sorry for blabbering. But I got the stickers on my glasses while I blabbered, which was super cool. So I don't know what these are at all. And even if I did know what they were, it wouldn't matter because I don't know anything about anything. Oh, man, this is really taped on there good. This is taped on there really good. I'm going to need something else to drink while I do this. Hello, some smoke wagon. Uncut, unfiltered. Let me guess. You thought that I wasn't going to have another drink before I drink scotch. Well, you'd be fucking wrong because that's exactly what I'm going to do. America. Pouring it. Pouring it. This was a gift. Yes. This. That's weird. I was just been informed that my children's iPad charger is not working. You know why it's not working? Because they shove it in there with no lube. They just. Um, you can try to use that one. Try to use it. Sorry about that. Jeez. Sorry, I got completely distracted. Sorry. Distracted by a gorgeous, a gorgeous brunette. It's my wife. All right. Let's get these poured. I think I just had to wiggle it. You just had to wiggle it? Oh, she just had to wiggle it, guys. It's okay. iPad charger's working now. 29 people in chat. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Yeah, chill out, guys. My, my live streams are filled with children hollering. And uh, that's just what we're going to do now. Looks like... Okay, got, I got A open. Ah, Scotland. A. Blibbity, 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 blibbity. That should be good. Now, I'll put a cap on its ass. Kabango. Alright. Sorry, this is... You have to bear with me. My life is just a crazy rodeo of craziness. There, got a cap on that's ass. On that, on that thing's ass, I guess. Yeah. Um, chat, jeez. Red is meant to be a cheap mixer. You're not supposed to sip it neat. Well, I sipped it neat, and it meant to be mixed with my not my mouth. Oh, that smoke wagon it just got me right off the wagon. Nick Fool says we're at. 1.23k, that's Jordan status. They need to click the damn button. I know, just click the button, YouTube. Ben Amy Hunter says, I get the impression that people who don't drink or don't drink whiskey, they only know Johnny Walker, Jack Daniels, and Crown Royal, right? I think so. I mean, yeah, it's... Those are the big names. <clears throat> the big names. Michael Klein's up in the chat. What's up, Sup, sup, Michael Klein? Nick Foles is right. Got to lube the cord. Actually, she just had to wiggle it, apparently. Andrew Sparrell's in the house. What's up, Andrew? Ripping, ripping the protection off a of bee. Get off of there, bee. All right. So far, we're like 20 minutes in. Everything still look good and sound good out there? Everything still look and sound good in the... The YouTube world of live streaming on my end. Like I said, it's the first time I've used my, my actual camera with a different microphone for this. So I'm in new territory and I'm a little concerned that it's not going to work well. Okay. This is B. There we go. That should be plenty, I would imagine. Ooh, I just got a whiff of that on accident. That's not something I would normally drink. <clears throat> Let's ignore it. I'll ignore that. All right. Put a cap on its ass. Uh, a, B. 
This should be C. Certainly is. Looking perfect. Oh, thanks, dude. Makes me feel so nice. Dramhound's in the chat. What's up, Dramhound? What's going on, dude? Again, these samples were from Big Dog himself, Daniel Carter. So thanks, thanks again, man, before I even get into these. This is C, Scotland. Do -do 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 -do. A little bit older. Just singing Frozen songs all night. Just gonna sing them louder. Cause they're stuck in an old duder's head. There's C. I should have got this done beforehand, but then again, I had no idea what. That my microphone was even gonna work, so. I'm lucky I got that far. Chris Walter says, Did you even make fishing videos before you were ADHD whiskey? Yeah, I made some. And people, people were very rude about me not catching any fish. People were so rude about me not doing the fishing thing correctly. Get rid of that. All right. So I said, "F you guys. I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch a buzz instead of catching some fish. I'll catch." Some. That's one thing about drinking whiskey is you'll always at least catch a buzz, right? Here's a D. A little D. A little D cup action. <laughs> the colors on these are so fun. They're so not bourbon colored. And oh, bust a cap on its ass. Cablango. All right. And then this should be E. E stands for entertainment, which you're not getting as I'm doing this. It's all right. We're going to we're going to hang in there and we're going to get to these in one second. My client says, looking good, sounding good, another amazing ADHD presentation. You should see me in the bedroom. Literally, you should. You actually really should. If you ever want to, uh, you're welcome to join. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, went a little heavy on E. That's all right. Went a little heavy on... Went a little heavy on the eating. <laughs> Am I right? Because <laughs> fat. Oh, by the way, today, as I've got five scotches in front of me, today is day number doso of my ADHD diet, where I began my journey two days ago at 322.8 pounds of pure muscle. That's fat. Pure fat. And today's day two. Yesterday I did a, I walked over a mile. I did two push-ups. Today I felt that pretty heavy and hard. So today I, I walked another mile and a half. I did it. I feel I'm feeling lean. I'm feeling mean. I'm feeling like a machine. And when I lose 50 pounds in six months, Michael Klein says I can pick any bottle off his shelf. Any bottle. I'm coming for that bottle, Klein. One pound at a time. <sighs> Lean Cuisine's going to love my fat ass. Keeping Lean Cuisine in business. Catch up on the chat ski. Um, Dramhound says, looks and sounds good, Matt. Except you're almost a pasty as with that light. Should I just move it back a little bit? There. That might be that might be better. Might be worse. Might be better. Who's to say? Who's to say? We'll find out in a second. Do -do 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 -do. Scary Peeper says, yo, cheers, ADHD whiskey. Yow, Ming. Scary Peeper, what's going on, dude? Big Dog wants to know if it's gray in my beard. There's gray in my hair and gray in my beard, and it just came out of nowhere. Because of my children. Um, Chris Walter says, caught two seven-pounders Wednesday. No GoPro, though. I'm guessing that they were probably largemouth, I would assume. Catch a vibe, eat a fish. Yes. Yes. Is that lighting better now that I moved the now that I moved the light? Is that less abrasive on my dome? I'm a pro at drinking whiskey. Yeah, I'm getting there. Jason Coates says, sorry for all you guys getting mediocre mediocre starter scotch as your introduction. I hope it isn't counterproductive. Never understand why the cheap garbage is a popular beginner choice. Yeah, I understand. I agree. I totally agree. 
What's the deal with that? Oh, geez, Louises. I have Patrick Fulmer. Oh, dude, thank you, man. Patrick Fulmer sent ten dollars via via PayPal. Since I don't have super chat, he sent ten dollars via PayPal. Patrick Fulmer, you didn't have to do that, man. Thank you, though. I've, I'm refreshing it in case it happens. I'm not. I'm not expecting it, but every time it does happen, I get a little tiny bit of a boner, just a little one. So thanks, Patrick, for making it move a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are awesome. I, this is so much fun. This is so much fun for me. I don't expect money to come in, but if it is, that makes it even friggin' cooler. Uh, my client, blah 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 blah. <laughs> All right, I'm about to get into these things. Drano says you're getting another from Bourbon Sane, and myself and those 50 LBS are gone. Yeah, Bourbon Sane said I could pick any bottle off his shelf. I feel terrible doing that to him. That's a Klein, though. I do it to Klein. And then Dramhound says that he'll he's gonna chip in a bottle when I lose the 50 pounds, also. So I'm going for I'm going for lots of walks to get some to get some. Michael Klein and Dramhound Bourbon Sane bottles. Oh, all right. Dramhound says everything's looking better light wise. Good, good. Patrick Fulmer says glad he could help. Yeah, I do think so much. The sampler box, this sampler box, and this wilderness trail, and a bottle of Elijah Craig C919 was all from DC himself, Daniel Carter, aka Big Dog. So here we go. Let's go into letter A. Letter A. First, my first Scotch whiskey out of a out of a Glencairn type class. This is actually a whiskey, a whiskey Scotch nosing class. So I've been using them for bourbon, but guess what? Tonight's the night. I'm using them for Scotch. That smells terrible. Oh my word! What is that? That's oh. <laughs> what the Oh, oh boy. <laughs> that smells. Oh man. That smells like if you were camping and you cooked corned beef hash over the fire in a a pot that you brought from home that was an old camping pot, like an old camping pot, and you cooked corned beef hash in it. And you got drunk, and one of your pens, friends pissed in it that night, and you woke up in the morning and smelled it. Oh, good grief. <laughs> what the hell? This is going to wreck my... L I mean, this, thanks, DC, for this. <laughs> here we go. I have no idea what the hell's going to happen here. <sighs> should I smell them all first, or should I drink them? Tell me in chat, since I don't know what to do here. Um... Should I smell them each first before I drink any of them, or should I smell one and then drink one? DC or whoever, let me know. Let me know. <clears throat> My children are getting yelled at right now because they're being oh so bad when Daddy's trying to drink scotch whiskey. Oh, man. I, why do I keep smelling it? I don't know why I do that. Klein says you should pour them down the drain. I'm not going to... I've got... Hey, if you send me stuff that's not going to kill me, I'll drink it. I'll drink it, and I'll drink it, and I'll try to enjoy it. Oh, boy. I like having this a little closer. A little closer, because then it lights up the whiskey. It lights up the whiskey better. Oh, okay. Big Dog says go for it. All right, here we go. Glass A. Oh, smells like a terrible idea. Oh. Oh my god. Is that poison? That's not something you drink. Is it? I'm worried. Is Did you... Is that actually, 
is that whiskey or is that something that's going to actually kill me? I don't feel bad. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to die. But I feel like that's not something you should drink. Like, if you drank Windex and you were like, that's probably not something you should drink. That's what I'm getting here. Oh, my gosh. Oh. It's not going away. Okay, now it just tastes like smoke. That's fine. I can deal with that. Oh. Why would they do that to people? Oh. All right. I told them I'd drink them. I told them I'd drink them. It's going to be. It's going to be. Oh. Okay, P. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my god. Not. That taste is not going to come out of my mouth ever, I don't think. Klein says, your reaction I felt, and now I know what it looked like. That's not something. Why would they? Oh, sorry, DC, for that, but why did you send me that? He says, I bet by C they taste better. You gotta get used to the peat. It wasn't the peat, it was the other... It wasn't the smoke, it was the, something else. I don't know, okay. We're gonna find out. Oh. Okay. Scotch is bong water? Well, no. There's a $250 bottle in here? Oh, sh I gotta stop being mean. Oh, because this is... Okay, this one... This one on B, I'm not getting any peat on, which kind of scares the shnikes out of me. This smells like unsweetened butterscotch. It smells like... Feet. It smells like barley, like malted barley, big time. Whatever, let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. I'm trying to see the bright side of this. That reminds me of Campfire and my dog when he like when he wake up and the dog's ass is right there in your face. What the hell? Okay. I gotta get used to it. I just gotta figure out why. It's okay. I love it. I love these so much. These are delicious. They make me not gag, and they make my... They... I haven't thrown up yet. We're good. That one smells maybe better. Klein says it's not going to get better. That's probably... Hopefully that's not true. Big Dog says the barley can be briny. Briny means salty, right? I think I get that. I think I get the, the saltiness. After tonight, I'll be a peat head. We'll see. I am not thrilled about it so far. Just need some cheeseburgers to go with it. That might not be bad. Cheeseburgers and smoke. Probably pretty good. Mm. Your Jason Coates' 74-year-old mother loves it. It's okay. It's not that I can't do this. It's the first sip I took of A made me think that um, it wasn't even whiskey. I thought that it was going to probably kill me in seven seconds. Like I had just drank something that was literally not meant for consumption, but meant for murder. 
murder. This is fine. This is good. We're gonna we'll get through it. Alright. Uh Fatty fifty one, what do you say? Cheese cheeseburgers and scotch. Oh, I still have an ounce of these left of each. We're gonna get uh I know exactly what that tastes like. I know. Oh my god. That. Okay. This is the first time I've ever said this. But that tastes like a sound. You know when you're on a basketball court with your tennies. And you're up and down. And you stop real fast. And it goes. When, in your basketball shoes in the basketball court this tastes like that rubber burning onto the court it's like wood mixed with burning rubber when I drank that all I could taste was eek, er, eek, eek. does that make sense oh what the hell I taste I, I feel like I just smoked A fire. A rubber. Ha. Okay, we'll get through it. Mm. Yeah, she was says, once you get my samples, you will want to make a wrench. I guarantee you they are better than A and B. Um, first of all, first of all, I had no idea that Klein was not a moderator, so fix that. Obviously, I had to fix that, because... He's got my best interests in heart, I would think. Um, Big Dog is still with us, I think. Patrick Foreman says, electrical fire? Yup. Yup, yup. I'm trying not to look at too many of the tasting notes in chat because I'm trying to just see what I get here. Ugh. Charles Astros says, we have Lefroy. I don't know anything about this stuff. Now the stream shows up in my feed. Been checking every 20 minutes or so. Andrew Kelly, my stream hasn't been showing up in your feed? That makes me want to break YouTube even more. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright. Here's the deal. Earlier I told you that I didn't expect you people to give me PayPal money because I, I felt weird about it. Now I want it. You give it to me. You give it to me now or I'll kill you all. Well, I'll, I'll send this to you and you drink it and die. Because I feel like that's what's happening here. I don't feel like this is actually whiskey. I feel like this is something that may make me wake up tomorrow morning dead. Just kidding. Don't pay me all my money. But unless you want. Um, client says, boom, here I am banning fools tonight. Yeah, there's a couple wrenches. There's three wrenches in the house. Klein, Wilson, Hound. Mm. All right. Um, oh my gosh, I was... I, all right. The, the thing is, I'm supposed to be ranking these from my least favorite to my favorite. And so far, no. Uh-uh. And what the mother. That's okay. We'll get to... We're going to get to D. Apparently, there, there's a bottle of $250 scotch in here. I'll probably be able to pick it out. I'll pick it out just fine. Uh, that smells different. But not good. <laughs> Smells. <sighs> I'm trying to. It smells like an old lemon. <laughs> like, like you left the lemon out for six, seven months. Oh, and that went real bad with the mold. I'm not getting a lot of. Um, I'm not getting a ton of. No, there's definitely some smoke on this one, too. It's got to be some smoke. Oh. All right. Ah. Cheers, everybody. Um, Daniel Carter, cheers, buddy. Thanks for all. Thanks for this. Ding. I never honestly would have ever 
this is a, an opportunity for me to taste stuff that I've never tasted before. I can't fake it, though. I have to give I have to give you the honest truth on how I'm feeling about this because if I were to lie and to say, "Oh, yum," I get creme brew branch, burnt branch, and creme brew branch, creme brew burnt, burnt branch. Um, that would be amazing, but I can't do it. So far, not my favorite ever. Okay, here we go. This is D. That's a $250 one. For sure. That was powerful and a big drink. I am. There have been times in my life where I. Uh, everything's fine. It's all good. That clenched, that clenched my butt cheeks together, and that's got to be really high proof. Okay, I'm back. That puckered me up like a Sour Patch Kid took six years of D-ball and testosterone. That was a sour, smoky son of a bitch with some stank on it. Holy crap. It's delicious. I can't believe that people buy that. That is torture. That's literally... Okay. I I picture Scotch as like the businessman. The man who's had a long day trading slocks, stocks. And, um, you know, the market was down and he's upset about it. And then the market is up and he's happy about it. It's a... It's a it's a bull bear market, and he is seeing blue or red, I think. And he comes home, and he's like, I'm going to pour myself some liquid torture. I'm going to sit in my comfortable chair and ignore everybody except for the dirtiest of hookers in my um, Rolodex. Because this tastes like burnt hair in the nether region in the best ways dc in the best possibly the best ways oh my gosh <sighs> uh, was that evan williams bottled and bond i would evan williams bottled and bond does not turn me inside out like this does this turns me inside out and makes me smell my own esophageal gland from inside out. All right. So far, I don't have a favorite, but if I had to pick a favorite, I would just choose one at random. <sighs> powerful, powerful stinky nose. Why would they? They need to put something in there, like Welch's grape juice or something. To make the pucker worth it. <clears throat> oh, boy. I didn't think it would be this bad. All right, down the hatch. <sighs> Delightful. Oh. Oh. I feel like I might set off some sort of detector in this house for smoke or something. I'm breathing 
put out camp. It this I taste it tastes like you just put out a campfire. Like you dumped a bunch of water on it. That's what this tastes like. Mixed with various nasty things like yuck and ew. Oh, I'm sorry, DC. You, I love you. You are amazing. You are the best. You sent me some, what I would probably consider to be the best gross scotches ever. I, it might grow on me. It might grow on me. Never. But it might. Oh my God. Big Dog is like, keep in mind, this peated, so it's its own animal. There are other regions that have non-peated goodness too. I'm sorry. Like America, like with corn and America. <laughs> oh, <t> <sighs> Golf Shaw says, it's like watching a man go waist deep in ice water. This is worse, dude. This is different. I'm starting to... I'm starting to man up and enjoy it. I'm starting to... to dive deep into the nuances and stuff that makes this delightful. I'm starting to enjoy... It sip by sip, and I think that by the end of this, I will come out a fan. <laughs> Jamhound says you officially kept Matt away from Scotch. Scotch is super. Hey, what the heck is this? Um, DC just sent me a ten dollar friggin' PayPal. That's too. That's nice, dude. Thank you. You didn't have to. Why did you do that? You sent me this, and you sent me this, which I'm going to slam after this, and you sent me a friggin' Elijah Craig barrel. You don't have to send me more money. That's for Michael Klein to do. Just kidding. Oh, he, he made, he, there's a comment. Uh, where'd it go? Where did it go? He said something. I think he said, watch your ass or I'll kill you. What did it say? Watching your pain and tasting notes is the best. <laughs> Cheers. Dude, thanks, DC. That's really, really nice of you. Did anybody else have a comment on theirs? I couldn't see. I don't think so. But anyway. Guys, thank you so much. That that means a lot. I didn't, I, like I said, I don't expect you guys to freaking send me PayPal ever. But that's really nice. <clears throat> I don't know what on earth these proofs are. I think that, um, let's see. Oh, boy. Hmm. I think that this one's really high proof. I think this one's really high proof. I don't know what the, pr I can't gauge a proof all because they taste like Weird. I guess we'll go back through them. We're going to go back through them. Let's go back to A. Let's go back to A. This is going to be a different experience. I'm sweat. I'm literally sweating through my shirt. Not because I'm hot, but because I'm on fire. Carissa. <laughs> literally. I just so wish you would have joined me in this. It is an experience. And there's actually there's lots of ounces left for you to try. My wife my wife didn't want to join me tonight. She didn't want to have any drinks tonight. She locked out. <laughs> there's a two hundred and fifty dollar bottle of scotch in here. And I can't be nice. <laughs> it tastes like burnt rubber like you just pissed on a campfire and oh sorry i'm talking to my wife telling her what's going on with the whole i can hear my i can hear the children they're being good not really back to chat um don't do what ask charles asper says no don't do it man you love her don't make her do it i do love her but she's weird she's weird as shit 
my wife is weird as shit. She might like this stuff. She might be like, yeah, you know what? I freaking love it. I mean, she likes me, and I am disgusting. Kevin Meyer says, also, holy crap, the video quality is amazing. I've actually, I'm finally using my camera, not my phone. I've got the lighting set up, and I'm using my the bandwidth from my phone as a mobile hotspot. So, yeah, um, this is the first friggin' the first stream I'm doing with my camera. So, hey, I'm glad, I'm glad it looks good. Okay, back to A. Wow. Oh, my gosh. A tastes heavenly. Oh. I'm going to taste this in the morning, aren't I? Okay. A isn't... <laughs> Where's that? My eye is twitching. This eye is twitching. And it never it's never twitched in its whole life. Ever. Until tonight. It wants out. It wants out. it's twitching so bad. That's like put throwing water on a grease fire. It did not help. It just spread it out. Good grief. That's okay. We're good. Ugh. We're not good. It's terrible. Mm. It's fine. We're going to be good. Um, I've got to rank these. So this was... A scale from 1 to 10. 10 being the best. 1 being the worst. This was... Below one, it was like Sean. This was like a negative 300 Sean level. I, hmm. Okay, gotta start ranking these. Okay, I'll keep that one in mind. I'm gonna go back to this one. This is B. Oh. B. Oh, the f At least it's getting me buzzed. But what the hell? Oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay. That literally tastes like a Band-Aid. Like a... Oh, like a... A really strong Band-Aid. I do not like that, Sam I am. I will not drink that in my house. I will not drink that with my spouse. I will not drink it from afar. I will not drink it in a car. I will not drink it in a bar. I will not drink it with Michael Klein. I will not drink it anytime. I do not like that. Daniel Carter. I do not like that. Old Charter. That is bad. <laughs> it's gotta be it's probably like a thousand dollars though. Oh. America. That's better. That's better. Time to buy new Glens. Yeah, I they might actually be ruined. Ashworth says bourbon would taste like water at this point. Well, water tastes like smoke, so that's different. Ugh. This might sell my drinking. If I only had scotch, I might not drink. 
What? My wife's giving me those eyes like... she. I don't know what she's thinking. I'm not sure if she's thinking I got a problem or if she's thinking that... I got a problem. They're not having problems. They don't have... Just... Beat it, nerd. Just kidding. I love you. I love you. I'll, I'll watch myself. From now... <laughs> Total smoke. <laughs> I'm making you drink these. I'm making her drink them. <laughs> no, don't ever drink that. She thought she was big and tough. She thought she was big and tough. But I was like. I was like, bitch, you don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh. <sighs> She's gone. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a sweat or water. It feels like sweat. Okay. This is diet diet cream soda Dr. Pepper. Tastes terrible. Tastes way better than peated scotch. You have to be part Scottish with that red hair. Norwegian brother. I'm a friggin' Viking. I'm the most I'm the least masculine Viking you'll ever meet. But I'm a Viking bro chacho. Bro Namath, bro potato chip. Oh. Uh, Ashworth says she's probably watching on her phone. I think she's watching murder mysteries. Like, how to kill your husband and get away with it. Nurse edition. That's probably what she's watching. Oh, I've never, ever, ever tasted anything so stinking delicious. DC, thank you. All right, back to C. This is, this is I'm gonna get through it. <clears throat> it's not any better the second time through. I honestly, I don't know if. I don't know if I can pick a winner. I think so far, I think A is the winner because it's the least bit violating of my genitals with it. This, okay, you guys are telling me that you think you know what I'm going through, but I don't know if you do. This this might be poison. This might be long-lasting poison. Oh my gosh. What are the what are the proofs on these peated bourbons? Like these to me they taste over a hundred proof. They gotta be over a hundred proof. They have to be. I'm not gonna A B them, Charles Ashworth. I'm not gonna A B them. No. Okay, I gotta go back to D. <sighs> Oh, this was the one that was real, real strong. I'm ready for it. I'm going to drink this and not even flinch. Like Shaq said, I bet you I can eat a, I, Chuck, Chuck, I'll eat a chip and I won't make a face. I won't make a face. I'll eat a chip and won't make a face. Here it comes back, full force. Oh, the finish on that is like a, it's like, oh, like cat litter. Made by Kingsford that was already lit. 
I do not. No. <sighs> That's got to be the $250 bottle right there. This has got to be the expensive one. You know why? Because. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to recover here. Going back to my bourbon experience. Just knowing what makes a good bourbon. Um, a good bourbon coats the mouth really well. It's full of flavor. And it has a fantastic finish. That's what makes the good bourbon the best bourbon. Um. Like a George G. Stagg or like a, even like the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs, they overwhelm your senses with flavor and then it just finishes so heavy and so strong and you're just like, I love it. This is the devil's version of that. It coats the mouth, unfortunately. It really packs a punch of disgustingness. It finishes way too long finishes way way too long which leads me to believe that this has got to be the most expensive one in the bunch big dog says 92 is the lowest proof that's a a has got to be the lowest proof and it also might be the best to me andrew kelly says so much flinching going on can take waxing without blinking but a touch of peat and he's broken um, waxing doesn't hurt. I literally almost threw up on B and D. Not going to lie. Almost, almost threw up. But I'm good. Totally good. <laughs> okay, why am I putting, I don't need caps on these. These aren't helping at all. Those are making it way, way worse. I don't need to smell that. Like that much of that? <sighs> okay. That's far less offensive. But still like a really bad racial racial joke. It's still not going to make anybody happy. Oh. Oh. Finishes pretty long, unfortunately. Fatty51 says he hasn't laughed as hard since he did his face. Well, Dan, Dan face poured himself pretty heavily. Some people drink it because they love the pain. I can see that. Charles Ashford says, wait till tomorrow morning. You'll be able to smell it in the glasses still. I believe it. I think this is probably going to destroy the glasses forever. Hey, what's this? I got a, something going on here. Oh, a burp's real bad. Bourbon Sane sent me $10. Dude, thank you so much, man. He says, welcome to the world of scotch. Tell YouTube to hurry the F up. I told YouTube earlier to just push the button. Just push the button. Let this sh let this shit be monetized already. I did my work. I got the thousand subs. I got the four thousand hours of watch time, which is a lot of watch time. Let's be honest here. And now I'm doing this. Um, I was actually, I was gonna, I was gonna save this for my first monetized live stream. Actually, that was the that was the idea was to do scotches for my first first super chat live stream, but. Um, I got sick of waiting, and I knew that I've been sitting on these for quite a while, so I wanted to I wanted to, to do it. I wanted to make sure that it was, um, you know, something that wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna sit on these for too long because they were sent to me to drink. So I'm gonna drink them. I thought I was gonna drink them. Now I'm gonna sit on the rest of them. Hey, Bourbon Sane, do you want some scotch? I've got at least an ounce of the rest of these. I guess we got to figure out what these are because we're we're at that point. Something dinged over there. I don't know what it was. But Chris Bourbon saying thanks so much for that $10 super chat through PayPal. That was really nice of you. You're the best. Bourbon saying says, we all watched overnight for those hours. I, I appreciate it. And I think there was some funny business with YouTube on that too. Because I know that there were 
multiple people just watching those my videos like looping them and the hours weren't adding up like they should have been but it's okay youtube's got my back they don't honestly obviously it's fine <clears throat> a couple days from now he'll be craving it maybe uh i'm i may i may crave them big dog says which one is the highest proof uh d D's the highest proof, and it's the most expensive. <sighs> I'm calling it right now. And if I call that, then I deserve at least a pat on the butt by six hands. All right. I think I'm not a bitch. Okay, I'm not a fuck. I'm not a bitch. So this is my favorite. This is the most damaging most most yeah what's the right word in this is like the fbi spying on you it's like it's in it's in your business but i love it i don't like it at all but this is my favorite because it's such an ass kicker d is my favorite i like something that can really put a whoop it on me that's why I married my wife. D is my favorite. D. Now I gotta, I gotta A B these bitches. If I throw up on camera, I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. If I, if I'm about to throw up, you'll see me turn my head really quick. But I gotta A B these buggers. This is A, and this is oh, it's bad. Oh. A versus E. E, A. E's got a. E has a smokier nose. Definitely smokier. Definitely more barbecue like. A is more. More burnt rubber. Like a Converse All Star. That has seen better days on the court. Oh. oh. Okay, I like E better than A. Now, do I like B better than A? Nope. But wait. The finish is... The finish on B is like... Almost redeeming. Never. Oh. The finish on B doesn't make me want to throw up. As much as the palate, the nose, and... Everything else about it did. I don't know. Let's try A. My eye is twitching again. Not kidding. Oh. I can't do. I can't do much more of this. Oh. I need a. I need a. I need a timeout. I'm gonna lose it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's not at all even funny. Uh, Alright, so let's see. C. What did I do here? C. Let's see here. I think C is the least offensive. I think C is the least offensive. But I don't really like it either. So here we go. I gotta find out what these are. We gotta find out. <sighs> All right. DC, thanks for sending those, dude. Um, 
he sent me a whole sheet about uh, Isla Scotch whiskeys. Oh my lord! Oh, I just can't stop. I'm sorry, I'm burping into the microphone. It's just coming up really bad. ADHD. Prepare to have your palate blown up from these intense, smoky, and peated uh, whiskeys. That happened. Every sample is a single malt and mostly finished in sherry wine casks. I got no wine on any of those. At all. Scotch is not corn dominant like bourbon. I knew that. So they can be salty and shocking to the tongue. They were both salty and shocking. But I think that after the first couple of samples, your palate will get comfortable to smoke. There's a $250 bottle sample in the mix. Can you find it? I thought that, that was letter D. That was my that was my guess. A lot of people don't care for pita whiskey, so you won't hurt my feelings if you don't like them. That's good. Um, your facial expressions should <laughs> let us know pretty quick. <laughs> yep. Enjoy the smoky atomic goodness. Peace. DCA. Peace. DC. AKA pulled pork. AKA Buffalo Dick Tracy. AKA Doctor. AKA Daniel Motherfucking Carter. P.S. I also included a couple bottles for you to enjoy. And I enjoy those big time. And I'll, I will be doing a review of the um, uh, the Wilderness Trail Rye very soon. All right. Let's find out what these are. My least favorite, oh gosh, is C. What's this? Oh, it's um, it was about the rye. Okay, C. Jamon says, there's an island you never need to visit. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Would you prefer to do another scotch flight or do 20 cheeseburgers? I don't mean to. I don't want to offend DC because these are very expensive bottles. But 20 cheeseburgers every day, all day. My least favorite was C. And then let's let's let everybody laugh at me because I'm sure that I am a complete. This is the first time I've ever drank peated whiskey, so suck my balls. All y'all. Oh my gosh. C is... Lefroy Lore. Lore. Uh, 96 proof. It's an 80 to $100 bottle, non chill filter, no age statement. Made up of whiskeys aged in a combination of quarter casks, sherry casks, and reused peated casks. The first cousin to our big dark cove, in my opinion. Sharper peat and briny flavors. Chocolate raisins, apples, and leather. It's from 2018. Um. Dude, first of all, the uh, the paperwork you sent with these is pretty amazing. That's awesome. Like, I've never seen anybody send informational packets with the sample, so thanks, DC, for going above and beyond. And I don't know anything about that. The Freud lower. Blech. <laughs> Blech. Bourbon says, wake... Wait till you wake up tomorrow morning and you taste nothing but peat. I can already, I already know that that's going to happen. So, in uh, fourth place is A. A was actually something that was lighter on the palate to me. But I'm not a bitch, remember? So, A is Kilcoman, Kilcoman, Kilcoman. Sanyag. Sanyago. It means Kilkoman's vagina. Anybody familiar with this? I have no idea. It's a 92 proof. I said that A was the lowest proof. I called that. Non chill filter, no age attainment, matured in ex bourbon and oloroso sherry casks. Desert sweet, uh, dessert sweet, ash, campfire, caramel, and apple fruit. I got none of that at all. All I got was ick, yuck, ew, and so Kilkoman. Uh yeah, so these two are the lowest proof. Uh A and D for show or A and C, I'm sorry. Uh in third place came B. Let's try. Oh that tastes I feel like there's a wait a minute. 
I kind of, I kind of, I just took a sip of this, and I, I kind of got something sweet that I liked a little bit, a little bit. Okay, these two are switching because. I got something sweet on here that I didn't get before. It went smoke. There was a, a tiny bit of sweetness that gave it a little bit of hope, but not that great still. So in third place is E. I'm, I'm learning as I go. Not learning at all. Learning how not to vomit. Rick killed a guy. So third place is E. E is Ardbeg Grooves. That's easy to read. 2018 limited release, $120 plus. Matured in red wine casks that were heavily charred inside the barrels. 46% ABV. Okay, so that's also lower proof. These all, I couldn't tell a proof on these because they're so damn smoked up. Non chill filter, no age statement, tasting notes, ash, char. I got both of those. Good burn, like smoky burn. Yep, yeah, got that. Plums, nope. Peat, got that. Espresso beans. I could probably, I could probably not get espresso beans if I tried. All right. Now, let's get down to these two again. I thought that, I thought that D, I thought that D was the highest proof and it was just a mother flamer. Just a, and I don't want to try it again, but I'm gonna. Because I need to make sure that this is my favorite. And by favorite, I mean just a mind-blowing son of a gun. Okay. Oh. Coats the mouth terribly, which means really good. My palate is slowly becoming accustomed to the terrible things I'm doing to it. Like pure gasoline. Yep. Wait until you have Yugadales. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try B again. Okay. B is just a slightly more sweet but it's not as crazy as D. It comes right back terribly. Okay, I'm done. I'm done drinking these so far at ever. And second place is B. Normally when I do like whiskey tastings, I'm like, none of these are bad. This just came in last place today. These were all so not good to me. Oh my gosh. B is Ardbeg Dark Cove. This is DC's favorite Ardbeg ever. 2016 limited release. Merchard and ex-Bourbon and Pedro Menes casks. 46.5% alcohol. Mancha filter. No age statement. Tasty notes. Sweet. Campfire. Char. Chocolate raisin. And peat. I can see most of that because it all tastes like a burning clitoris. All right. Um... That leaves the winner. The winner is D. Here. <sighs> D is the winner, and it is <laughs> a fifty. I said this was a two hundred and fifty dollar bottle. It's 55 bucks. <laughs> I'm dumb. But because I'm stupid. That's fine. His second favorite and affordable too. Pronounced Oogadale. In 2009, Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible named it World Whiskey of the Year. Well, I guess me and Jim Murray are basically scientists. Super smart. And amazing. And the only reason I picked it was because it was the biggest kick in the ass. What's the proof? 100 and 
eight proof. That probably makes sense. It's the highest proof. Kind of tasted like it. No age statement, non-chill filtered. Uh, tasting notes, kick-ass goodness. <laughs> That's a good tasting note. Tastes so good it makes you want to slap your mama. 2018 Arbeg. Oogadale. DC, thanks, dude, for sending me these. Um, apparently, I'm an Ardbeg guy when it comes to scotches, and I love them so, so much. I need something else. I don't know what on earth happened. Ever. So that was the order. That was fun. That wasn't something that... I'm a, Okay. I'm a bourbon guy. I'm a bourbon and rye guy. I like bourbon. I like rye. I like light whiskey. I like corn whiskey. Apparently, not a huge fan of the smoky, smoky scotches. But I'm super glad that I got the opportunity to try. So, Daniel Carter, if you're still here, man, thank you so, so much for giving me the opportunity to try that stuff. I know it's hard, dude. Like, you just poured out two ounces out of those really expensive bottles bottles that you love you love that stuff and you took out two ounces of those bottles to send to me and i kind of just shat on them so i'm sorry man for for being that way about it but there's no you can think back to the first time you tried that stuff there's no faking it that stuff is just there i can't I can't pretend like that's not going to affect me. And it affected me so hard in the face. Real bad. Real bad, boyfriend. Anyway, um, I'm going to have a little smoke wagon here. Get it? It's funny because I'm drinking smoke wagon after I literally just drank a wagon that was on fire. Oh, that's way better. Tastes nothing like bourbon after that, though. Dana Bourbon Junkies took quite a while to come around. For some, it's an acquired taste. It has to be. That's not something that anybody... Well, I mean, bourbon was the same for me. It's not like I took a sip of bourbon and fell in love. It took me a little bit to actually find what I liked and to really get on board. But that smoky stuff is like... You're really going to have to be acquired to that. A lot. I don't know. That was rough. That was a rough go of it. How long have I been on for? An hour and 20 minutes or so? Not too bad. Big Dog DC says, Happy happy you got to try it. You called my favorite scotch a burning clitoris. Well, not a bad tasting note, I don't think. Mike Klein says, I still can't do it, bro. I'm with you. What's going on? I'm scared. What? She's putting his iPad cover. She has it on her chest. The other is just his head. So it's kind of okay. But Wait, sleeping. so one of our kids has the iPad on the other kid's chest who's sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Take a picture for me. I'm sure it'll be the same when I'm done here in a few minutes. Oh man. Anyway, that was um that was brutal. Thank you guys for being in here and watching that. So next week, um next week I Well here's what happened. <clears throat> I sent Michael Klein a box today via courier who is completely sanitized and completely covered in sanitization. He's um Next week, Michael Klein's going live with me, and we're doing a little competition. It's the same competition that I did with the Bourbon Junkies back in, like, November-ish. It's Master Blender or Master Pretender, where we sent each other five samples. Three of them are actual real whiskeys. Two of them are blends that we blended ourselves. And then we have to decide which... We have to, to decipher which of those samples is a blend and then also rank them from from best to worst so can you can he decide can he figure out which ones i blended because i blended some pretty good pretty good whiskeys to put in there i gotta say um so klein is uh 
he sent me some stuff. I sent him some stuff. So next week, we're going to do this live, and I'll be at a different location. We're moving in a couple days to a different Airbnb for seven weeks where we will live in this crazy time that we're in. Oh, I almost broke that. Uh, Klein is not going to win this one. He will lose so bad. Uh, let's see here. Greg Failer says, Matt, you said you like light whiskey. Have you ever had Old Hammer CS? 99% corn, 1% multi barley, barley different. Oh, um, Greg, I had a, I had a, well, no, not a light whiskey. An old hammer cask strength? No. Oh, well, I've tried a, um, an MGP. It was from the J. Riger distillery, and it was a, their private stock, and it was that same MGP, 99% corn, 1% malted barley. Cask strength, like 130 proof. It is different. It doesn't really hold up with the other cask strength bourbons I'm used to because they call that a bourbon, by the way, which is weird. Uh, but, yeah, I've had that, and it's it's good if you have it by itself, but if you compare it to anything else, it doesn't really hold up, I, I don't think. ADH3 says, did you not watch, watch Pros vs. Joes? Joshua Asplund. I was in a competition. I was in a pros vs. Joe's competition with Michael Klein in his basement on a Bourbon Junkies live stream a couple months ago. And I was way hammered and I still put up a fight. I don't know what my kid was ewing about. And I didn't put up a fight. I think he whooped my butt. Michael Klein says ADHD whiskey has set me up. I have never blended or tried to tell the difference before. Um. I asked you if you wanted to do that competition, and you said yes. So I didn't set you up. You agreed, so you set yourself up, bitch. Boom. Roasted. You're not a bitch. You're my best friend. I love you. Yeah, I did lose that competition pretty bad. I was I was 7,000 sheets to the wind. I think that's how you say that. 7,000 sheets to the wind that night. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what happened. Um, we have got some more on here. Uh, oh, I got a new patron, Tim Evans. New patron. Thanks, Tim. That's that's friggin' awesome. That makes me, that makes me smile from widescreen to widescreen. Three hundred and twenty-two pound guy two days ago. I'll probably weighed three hundred pounds by now. Probably lost twenty-two pounds in two days because I'm friggin' a miracle. But dude, thanks, Tim. That's so cool. I, I got a buzz on my phone. I wonder what it was. Tim Evans is a new patron. www.patreon.com backslash forward slash ADHD fishing. So cool. Tim, thank you so much if you're watching this. That's the best. Um, this was... When does a tattoo video make its appearance? Says Dramhound. Um, the tattoo hasn't happened yet. Actually, I made it up to the UP for just a couple days last month. Or actually a few weeks ago, right before this whole coronavirus thing really started in. And he wasn't able to do it then when I was up there. So we're going to work this whole tattoo thing out. He's agreed to it. He's going to do it. Jason's going to do it. He said he's going to do it. And he's a man of his word. So what I think will happen is when this whole uh, shmushmona virus thingy just blows over. <sighs> doesn't affect anybody that we know um hopefully sooner than later we will get that tattoo on his left chest and like i said he's he's all about it he's not gonna back out he's the man he's he's a good friend of mine he he agreed to it and he wouldn't have said he was gonna do it unless he was gonna do it even though he was totally shit-faced when he said it uh, DC says, this live stream was my first ADHD experience. Needless to say, I'm a fan of hammered ADHD. Oh, that live stream when I was in Michael Klein's basement? Yeah, that was a... That was a night where Michael Klein let me drink all of his whiskey. Will Henderson says, am I going to get one to match? No. <laughs> the, o the only possible way... I'll get a fighting cock tattoo on my chest is if he backs out and won't do it. 
which I don't ever foresee happening. But if he if he backs out at the last minute and says he won't do it, then I'll get one. But I don't think he'll do that. And if he does that and I've got to get one, then you'll get to watch a video of me giving him a wedgie and a swirly. And then him beating me up and headbutting me in the face. Yeah, I think that, that's about it. Um, Big Dog says, I think you hit on Sean's wife. Yeah, I did like three times. That's fine, though. He knows I'm kidding. But, yeah. I can't help it. I have like 75, 76 drinks in me. And I pick on Sean. Sean picks on me. And I see his pretty fiance sitting there. It's fair game. I said, what's up? She said, what's up? And then that was it. That was all that happened. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Bourbon Saints Basement. Yeah, I got drunk there too. That was because I didn't, I didn't eat enough that day. I did not eat enough, and Chris took advantage of me and fed me William Leroux Weller, which is okay. That was nice of him. It's a fun time. Jeez. Okay, before that happens again, I should probably get off here. And um, until next time. So this was a, a great time. Thanks, DC, for sending me these scotches. I never in a million years would have tried this stuff had you not sent me this, so... I really appreciate the generosity. Come to find out, it was not, or so far, not something that I'm going to be going to or craving that I can see in the foreseeable future. But it was a great experience. It destroyed everything in my life as far as tasting stuff goes. So maybe it'll help my diet out. Maybe I just won't want to eat anything else ever. Who's to say? Who's to know? Klein says, good night, buddy. Love you, man. Love you too, Mike. You're the best dude. Literally, Michael Klein's probably one of the best dudes I've ever met. One of the best, most generous gentlemen who I'd like to just give a gigantic Matt Porter hug to. Bourbon Sane says, here to hear first, I fed ADHD whiskey and manipulated him. That's correct. He did. And big hugs to everybody here. You're all amazing and awesome. Thank you so much, Dramhound. I'd like to give you a great big hug too one of these days. Yeah, thanks, DC, for this. Um, look forward to a couple new videos. Maybe one. What's today? Thursday? New video. No, today's Friday. New video Monday, probably. New video coming out on Monday. And then next week, I'll be live streaming with Primetime Michael Klein from my, my new home, which I don't know what that setup will look like. So the Monday video might be the last video from this location. The last time you see that clock. Could be it. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for watching me struggle through that stuff. You're all the best. It was a good time. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you haven't. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It helps the channel out a lot. And it's just a, a good, fun time. So hit the thumbs up. Hit the hit the subscribe button. And uh, watch, watch for more ADHD whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind inside of a campfire eating Converse All-Stars, smoldering Converse mother friggin' All-Stars, icky mcicky ick. Good night, everybody. Uh, oh, oh, before I go, I forgot to say, geez, Louise, tomorrow night, um, uh, Perry from This Is My Bourbon Podcast is, he's getting everybody together again to do like a live stream get together. I think it's going to start at about 9 p.m. So look for, this is my bourbon podcast, uh, I think 9 o'clock, and he's going to be doing um, a collaboration with a bunch of Whiskey Tube channels tomorrow night. So watch for that. I might be on there, hopefully. Hopefully I can squeeze my way in there. But I'm so big, it's hard to just squeeze into places. Not like it used to be. That's all. That's it. See you later. Have a great night. Happy friggin' Friday. Stay safe, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Good night.